Hello, interwebs! Sweaty Hewlett is back with another Burn and Learn, if you could believe it. Um, as always, a bit of a bit of a pause between the last one and this one. Gotta say, I felt so grim after that last one. I felt like uh, I was uh, really struggling. So um, I got two days off, um, maybe more. I didn't do the math very well on that one. Uh, but this, so you know, is a Burn and Learn. And a Burn and Learn is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. I loathe it. It is the worst thing on the planet. So um, I, I like to learn something while I'm doing it. And then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible. Thus, I am here. Um, I realized that last time I did this, I don't think I even spoke about the um, the learn part, just about what was rattling around in my brain while I was actually exercising. Um, which is funny, when you actually start exercising, you do, God, it's amazing, the stuff that just gets in your head. Um, and in this case, what was getting in my head was C-sharp programming. I'm on the second uh, series, uh, so essential C-sharp programming um, number two. And uh, we're, we're getting into the nitty-gritty of programming. Um, I mean, I'm familiar with a few languages. I've, I've dabbled in many languages over the years. Um, this is sort of a full-on intensive go-through that I'm doing right now. Although I have, I feel like back in the day, I used to plow through those, you know, learn Java in 21 days, those kind of books and stuff that Sam's used to put. I used to love those things. Of course, now it's all video. It's much, much better to learn that way. But um, this C-sharp essential programming, really well done. It's on LinkedIn Learning which used to be lynda.com. And um, we're into arrays right now. So we've done all this sort of overview of object-oriented programming and how the different classes work and, and um, you know, all of the sort of the, the, the real nitty-gritty of, of object-oriented programming. I am now into the mechanics, into the array. We're creating arrays now and, and pulling stuff out of arrays. And arrays are one of my favorite things because I'm a big sort of like data junkie. I love the idea of having information and being able to process it and stuff. And um, that's what arrays are what you use basically for that. It's a way of bringing in data, putting it into an ordered list um, that you can then uh, access with your and manipulate with your with your code. So I'm very excited about that. Um, it's very similar to a lot of the other programs, the way it works, but it's nice to get a refresher and obviously to see it actually happening and see Sharp is, um, it's a different, it's definitely a different thing. And there's, it's just amazing how much stuff is built into these, both the, um, the development environment, like this Visual Studio that we're using um, from Microsoft, and um, and also what's just built into C Sharp as a language. I mean, you used to have to write all this stuff. I mean, of course, Basic used to just you know it's a, it was really just a grocery list of things you wanted it to do. This is pulling stuff from all different files, and it's um, you know getting a lay of the land is very important with this stuff. Um, but it is just amazing how you know they've got these static methods and static. Um, classes and stuff, which basically means you don't have to call them. They just automatically, you know, will allow you to, you know, manipulate strings and, and uh, move things around and do math and, you know, huge math functions, obviously. Um, but I was amazed at how much stuff strings can do now. Strings basically just being text in, in, in programming. Um, anyway, so I'm really looking forward to finding something to actually build with this stuff, with this newfound knowledge. Um, and uh, I'm hoping some of that will come up with this Makerspace stuff I'm doing for Shaftesbury and Let's Talk Science, my favorite charity. One of two of my favorite charities. I, Let's Talk Science, I just I have this kindred spirit, I feel, with Bonnie Schmidt, who, who created Let's Talk Science and inspires like millions of kids uh, over the many years that she's been doing this. Um, and uh, so I just feel like uh, I'm just, I'm a huge fan of hers. Um, and uh, just just love what she's doing and how she does it. Um, and also, um, Médecins Sans Frontières, so Doctors Without Borders is the other one. That's why I hesitate to say I have a favorite charity, but those two are definitely the ones that I that I, I love the most. And uh, right now, Let's Talk Science is just uh, is fantastic. So they've commissioned a bunch of stuff from Shaftesbury, and so I will be I will be helping them out with that. A bunch of robots, and um, you know how to get kids thinking analytically, and. Um, it's a bit of online safety and just oh, really fun stuff, but mainly robots and electronics and all the stuff that I love so much. Um, in fact, I'm looking into some soft robotics stuff now. I'm going to buy some silicone so we can make these sort of tentacle things that I think the kids are really going to kick out of. When I say the kids, I mean me. I figure if I'm enjoying it, chances are the kids will as well. So um, that's on the books for next week. And uh, weird old age thing. I had I had to make an appointment to get hearing aids today. Uh which is just such a weird, I gotta say, I'm having a hard time getting my head around it because it feels very old. Like, I mean, I've always been old. I've been an old man since I was, you know, four. But but uh, it's just something 
something weird about realizing that you're, you know, that there's a this decline happening here, and and I am now paying for the sins of my youth with the drumming and the, um, uh, and the the concerts and and uh, you know people blowing things up in my ears in Bulgaria and things like that. So I've actually, it sounds like I am I'm losing my hearing. So that's a, kind of a weird thing to get sort of used to. Although I am quite excited about bionic ears. I got to say I want to see what there's what there is available in that regard. Uh, um, but uh, I just found that people thought I was ignoring them or or, uh, or not paying attention, and and it's uh, it's because when there's background noise, I don't uh, I don't hear anymore. Apparently, they did this weird test where there's like a noise going on, and they play these little sounds, and and um, you know, the sounds that I could hear before suddenly when there's a little bit of background noise, even just a tiny bit of background noise, and I just it's just obliterated by. So, um, anyways, just it's kind of, kind of fascinating, I guess. Um, I'm trying to look at the positive side of it as opposed to wallowing in the old age part. I'm, I'm kind of excited about the whole bionic Hewlett approach. So, um, there you have it. Uh, as I say, I hope to return more frequently with these, um, these little burn and learns. Um, and also, thank you, Patreons. Uh, all of the people who have, who have helped out with Patreon so far, I so appreciate it. And um, if you haven't, feel free to jump in or at least look into what we're doing here because we're doing Tech Terrors, uh, Tech Bandits, as I'm calling it this year. Um, and I'm looking for some kind of reward for Patreons, uh, for people who, who do give money. I'd like to give them something in return, um, other than just the joy of helping out, you know, kids and myself have fun. Um, but, uh, so I'm thinking maybe now is the time to do some, uh, Stargate commentary, uh, with and without my son, depending on how busy his social seat is. Um, but I'm wondering if maybe that might be a good Patreon, uh, reward. Like anybody who donates a certain amount of money can, can, can get, you know, we'll do like a live, uh, Twitch stream of, a of, of an episode. You'd have to watch the episode on your own and then, and then I would uh, I would sort of be chattering on about it as I am now going on way too much. Anyway, so think about that. Um, maybe think about uh, or let me know who would be interested in that. Um, and if there are enough people, maybe it's something I should be doing. So, um, anyways, until we geek again, sweaty or not, but hopefully sweaty because that'll be enough exercise. Cheerio.